friends. I hope you are having a wonderful week so far. Uh, today I am going to be bringing you a really big, beautiful, formal look for the springtime. So um, I've been making content for Rapunzel lately in addition to content for my own channels and um, sometimes they are very specific. <laughs> about what they would like me to shoot and sometimes I get to have more free reign. So this was a specific directive that I got from Rapunzel to shoot a formal springtime look using three scarves. The first of which is an apricot, golden Israeli tichel, which you all know is one of my favorites. Also the gold uh, golden Israeli tichel, which I originally got as part of the uh, Victoria staff pick kit, but is now available on its own. And also the, I think this is the apricot um, shimmery scarf. I can't remember whether they call this one apricot or rose gold. There are two of them. They're pretty similar. I think this is apricot, but double check in the description box to be sure. So I was asked to put together a look with these three scarves and also with this beautiful pin um, that I presume has launched at this point uh, and I don't know what it's called but I will link it in the description box. Uh, so yeah, I wasn't entirely sure. I have done this look now once or twice as, um, as practice uh, and yeah, we're gonna get right to it. So today I have my Wendy shaper on. I wanted something big and dramatic and also that was going to give me plenty of room to work with. So I am going to begin with my apricot Israeli tickle and what I'm doing is I am holding it just by one of uh, its corners. So knots, I'm not really folding it. Um, I am just going to start with a corner and I am going to put half of an angle at the front of my head and just kind of bring this around. So if you want to tie a little bit of a knot to hold it in place, by all means, you may do so. It's also up to you if you want this to be flat or have like a little bit of texture to it in the front. I am not knotting it in the back and I am trying to keep it relatively smooth to begin with. And then I am going to take my shimmery scarf and I am going to fold over just like the eensiest teensiest bit because I have a lot of volume to cover in the back. And I am going to tie this on my head nice and evenly and at an angle. Like so. Yeah, that's pretty even, that's good. All right, so again, if there is anything that I want to change over here. This is feeling a little bit loose, so I'm just gonna tuck some of it behind my shimmery there. And now, nice and snug, I'm going to take my gold scarf and I am going to put it on similarly to the way that I put on um, my apricot, which is just holding it by one corner, letting the rest of the scarf kind of do whatever it's going to do. And I'm going to bring that across my head. I think I'm going to leave that little pleat right there. I kind of like the way that looks. And then I'm going to tuck my little tail in the back here underneath so that it is nice and snug. Bring that behind. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now I am going to take 
my apricot shimmery bring it up and over just behind where I have that little bit of texture this guy is going to come up here and I'm going to tie a relatively high beginner's luck knot over here um, if you want to bring it all the way through on the first pass that is up to you I think I still have a little bit of tail right here so let me just find somewhere in the back to tuck that in um, that gives just a little bit more security and then for my second pass I am just going to bring it part of the way through you know what that's not working as well as I thought it would okay uh, when I did this I only did uh, like the initial half knot so I am just going to do that again All right still it feels like it wants to slip you know what I think what I did previously so the shimmery side has like a slightly more rough side and then a slightly smoother side and I think I had the rough side out before and that was helping me um, with my knot situation so that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip these so that I have the rough side out instead of the smooth and hopefully that will give me a little bit more security in my knots so go up and over that together there we go that feels more like it yes that feels a lot better all right and then this I am going to fluff up nice and big so now I have kind of these bigger parts of my other scarves and all I'm going to do is kind of fold in all that volume and then they are going to come up and around one at a time so making sure that I keep that behind my little knot there and then as that comes back around let it tuck in and then same thing with this guy fold in there we go fold in my short ends and that one is also going to come up and just create all of this beautiful volume and layers And then similarly, find my little pocket in the back here and tuck right in. How beautiful does that look? And then of course, the, the cherry on top of the sundae, this beautiful, beautiful pin, which I am going to stick right into my knot. And there we have it. I think that this is a grand, magnificent look for any formal event, really any time of year, but especially like all of these luminous colors in the spring, the, the fringe of the shimmery hanging down. I just, I think this is absolutely stunning. So here's what this wrap looks like from the front, from the side, from the back, and the other side. So obviously, if you have a mirror, you can go around, you can, you know, make uh, these last two scarves that you bring up as, as freeform or as tidy as you would like them to be. 
Uh, but yeah, so uh, I hope that you found this inspiring for any formal events that you might have coming up. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, that's a wrap for me. Thank you so much for watching.